must je preve de rendre seigneur seigneur car avec les soldats il est horreros preve son tendre pour plaisir pour plaisir ils ont les combats le cirque est plein ce jour de fête le cirque est plein d'automates le spectateur And now I'm going to show you how to make stunning cinematic crane shots using your smartphone, monopod, and the Osmo Mobile 3 gimbal, or any gimbal that you have that's handheld. Now, this isn't actually fully compatible with Filmic Pro yet, and I really wish that they would make it so, because it would be awesome. I've heard rumours that they have. If you want to comment below if you've heard anything concrete, I'd really, really love to know when this is going to happen, if it's going to happen. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to show you how to make an amazing crane shot and how physically to do that with the monopod movement, as well as the type of shots that you can get high, high, high up compared to if you just had a handheld. Let's get into it. Okay, so you've got your monopod and you've got your gimbal attached to that. We're going to pretend the phone's on this because obviously I'm filming with the phone. You've extended the monopod as long as you need for the height that you're filming. So to get the right stance, you need your legs apart, both shoulder width apart. So make sure they're in line with your shoulders. Plant your feet in so they're nice and steady as well so you don't lose your footing when you're moving. Because obviously that will shake the footage and make it unusable. Now to get the movement that you want and to get the stance that you need, you're going to move your hands down the monopod slowly and firmly so you've got one hand at the end of it holding on right at the end and you just bring this hand down to this point and then from there you're going to be able to use your whole body in one fluid motion so you're going to be swinging up as high as you can to get the height that you need and there's two ways to bring this down you can either pass it hand to hand bring it down and then maybe if you want to get low you can bring your crouching position as well or the other position you can do to bring it down is for having it high up you can slide it through your palm of your hand so the higher hand slide it down slide it down and then bring it in and you can bring it lower like that or as you're bringing it down you can then twist and turn the gimbal so you can get different shots like the one I had from the graffiti into the woods so basically, the things you need to remember are your feet position, your hand positions, and moving as one. So your whole body, with the, mo with the monopod and the gimbal, needs to move as one. So you've got one as it starts to rain here. So you've got one fluid motion going up, and then coming back down. And that, my friends, is how you create, with a monopod and a gimbal, a jib shot, as a heavens open. So let's start off with some revealing shots of swooping from the ground upwards. So using that kind of smooth motion with your legs at shoulder width, using your arms in the right position, using it all as one. So basically using your body as a gimbal for the gimbal on the monopod. Now, you can use these shots to reveal subjects, actors, um, just places like this. It's a really, really amazing tool to get stunning cinematic images with your smartphone. It takes a lot of practice and you can use the monopod to turn the whole thing as well as you see there. Now, using the Osmo Mobile 3, because you can't actually have your hand held on it to hold the trigger down for sport mode, it kind of glides a little bit off to the side. So you have to kind of anticipate the, the gimbal's movement slightly. So you can use it to turn one direction or the other, or you can, you know, go with it and see where it takes you. Because sometimes if it guides to the right, like it did here, it looked like it was going well, but then I tried to guide it over sort of too much and uh, it just didn't quite work there. 
and you can do the reveal coming from a high height as well. Down, this is a really stunning shot with the cityscape in the background. You come down to people on that bench or something to reveal a story that's happening in your film. And this is one of my favourite shots of all. This is the whole rule of thirds thing coming into play here. You're swooping up from the road, up, you've got the skies ahead of you, you've got the uh, houses of either side and the road there. Now to emphasise, coming from a high height, you've got branches you can use as well, so you can put things in the foreground. I'll talk a little bit more about that later on as well. And again, you want to kind of get one smooth motion using the balancing so that your gimbal doesn't kind of have to overpower with the gears and overheat. If you get the balancing right, you can use it for quite a long time and not have it kind of burn out. And then as I said to you before, you can turn the actual monopod to the left or to the right to capture more scenes as well. Now these scenes you're seeing here, ones that you could see in a film or TV series, you just wouldn't think you could get on a smartphone, but with this kind of gear and equipment, you can absolutely do it. A cheaper version of doing this would be to have, I don't know, like a broomstick or something and stick your phone onto the end of that, but then you're relying on having really smooth hand movement so it's just not something that's advisable but you can do it and if you've got stabilization in place as well like i've used stabilization here in davinci resolve on a few shots as well just smoothing things out no harm now whatsoever all the professional films do it as well so don't be worried to use that a nice little glint of the sunshine there as well that was a bit of an accident actually but it's quite nice the way it kind of pops up like that and you can guide the camera wherever you want and again, as I mentioned before, using things in the foreground, so you've got the branches here, you can slowly come down and it just emphasises the height that you're getting, whether you're revealing a shot coming up to heights or revealing a shot coming down. You can really emphasise the height with whatever you're using and it just makes everything look so much more cinematic and professional. This is the best example of it. Coming down these vines here, you feel like you're kind of crawling down the tree to whatever's in front of you in the, in the background. Now here, this is an interesting one. The graffiti here is about 12 to 15 feet high. I'm about six foot myself. So with the monopod extended and the gimbal on top of that, I can get to a height of about 12 foot or so. So I was able to capture that. And this is one of the things that you just wouldn't be able to do without the monopod or the gimbal. So you can get nice smooth shots. And as you can see here, I've got the stance here. It's probably a bit over maybe shoulder width, but it's about there. And then to get the smooth motion up, you want to kind of pass it upwards. You could try and slide it up, but I think passing it through hand to hand is better going upwards. And then coming down, you've got two choices. You can pass it down from hand to hand. Or, as you can see here, you can slide it through the upper hand and then you can use your body to kind of bring it a little bit lower as well if you want to. So there's a few different techniques to bring it down, but up, you want to stick to kind of hand to hand and make that nice and smooth if you're just going completely up rather than doing the swooping motion that is. Now here you can see I'm doing a panning shot across the graffiti and then into the pathway in the woods and then using my whole body so you're swooping slowly to the side, twisting your hips. And here's a stunning shot. This wouldn't look out of place in something like Stranger Things, I don't think. Especially when it's a bit darker, kind of a bit more moody. It's such a great way to reveal a shot. You can kind of show that it's somewhere a bit murky, a bit grungy, a bit dirty. And you swoop and you can have some characters, some actors walking into shot and out into the distance or even walking towards you. Now to remind you the three steps of cinematic crane shots are have your legs shoulder width apart to give you the balance and the steadiness, two to have your hand placements on the monopod really well so one right at the end and one maybe a foot further up to give yourself a nice balancing of the weight and three moving your whole body. Well guys I hope you found this video useful if you did hit the subscribe button now and the like button for this video I'd really appreciate that if you do. And also, if you've got any questions about the equipment, I'll put all the links to everything I've used in the description below. And yes, if you've got any questions, put it in the comments below and I will answer them as soon as I can. I always get back to comments and try and help people as much as I possibly can. If you're new to this channel, this is your first time, I cover everything smartphone filmmaking, from accessory videos to filmmaking tips, tutorials, Filmic Pro tutorials that uh, you won't see anywhere else that have been endorsed by Filmic Pro left, right and centre. So do check those out as well. And of course, I upload the short films that I make so you can see how I'm implementing these storytelling tips, etc., into my films. Well, thanks so much for joining me, guys. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.